Hey YouTube, what is up and welcome back to tutorial number 20 and in this tutorial I'm just going to talk to you guys about IDs and I'm going to explain when and where to use them. So IDs are almost the same as classes in a sense that you can use an ID to style an element except that an ID should be unique to only one element. So let's just say you had three different paragraphs on your website and you wanted them all to look the same. Then you should probably use a class to style all three of those paragraphs with one specific class. But if you had three paragraphs and you just wanted one to be different and the other two to be the same, then what you can do is you can go ahead and use an ID. And the reason for that is, um, you know, you'll have to identify your your paragraphs and things later on uh, with JavaScript etc and you'd have to use the ID and only one element can then have that ID otherwise you're just gonna get it confuse everything with JavaScript um, but that's like a whole other tutorial anyways so for now what we can do is we can just add in uh, three paragraphs so just go ahead and make three paragraphs on your web page um, okay, so we can just go, this is paragraph one, and I'm actually just going to copy that again. <laughs> okay, and we'll have paragraph two, and we'll have paragraph three. And now we've got three basic simple paragraphs on our website but like I said if we wanted one of these paragraphs to be different and only one we can go ahead then and add an ID attribute ID equals and we can set this ID we can make this ID anything we want but I'm just gonna name mine blue oh whoa okay, I don't know how my cursor got down there I'm gonna name mine blue underscore P just because I'm going to turn the paragraph blue, so it's a blue paragraph. Uh, like I said, it's better to just when you're going to give your when you're going to name your IDs or your classes, you should name them something descriptive so you know what the ID is going to be doing. And now what we can do is go back to our CSS and to style something or to style an ID in CSS, you have to use the hash symbol some of you guys might call it the pound sign and then after that you'll put the ID name so our ID name was blue underscore P so let's go ahead and copy that and there we go blue underscore P and as you can see whenever you refer to an ID in a CSS notepad plus plus changes the ID to be blue so that you can easily see what is an ID and uh, what is a class and obviously in the previous um, things just what what is an element so an, uh, a class looks like that because it's red and <laughs> class and a normal element would be blue like that and an ID is blue like that so that's just how you can tell apart things in CSS but anyways let's go back to our ID here I'm going a bit off topic and we, what I said we were going to do is just change the color to be blue. My gosh, I don't know how my, my cursor keeps doing that. It's, it's weird. Anyways, there we go. And now what we can do is we can go back to our index and run this in Firefox. And as you can see, we now have two normal paragraphs, one and two, or one and three are normal. But number two, that had the ID of para1 or para blue para, what is that? Blue P, okay. The ID of blue P changed the paragraph blue. So if you guys don't really understand, then maybe we can do it one more time just to get this really into your heads. We can go to our first paragraph and set this ID equal to red underscore p and we can go back to our css over here and just refer to that as red underscore p 
So like I said, it's the hash symbol first, and then the name of your ID, and then you can go ahead and start styling it. So we'll change this color to red. And we'll save that, go back to Firefox, and when we refresh, this paragraph over here should turn red. So take a look at that, pretty awesome, hey? So that's how you would use an ID in HTML and CSS. But like I said, an ID should be unique to only one element on your web page. You shouldn't be using ID, uh, the same ID along four or five different elements on your web page because when you use JavaScript uh, in the future, you're going to want to get elements by ID. And if there's two, two elements with the same ID, you're going to confuse your JavaScript a little bit. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys next time. I would appreciate it a lot if you guys really hit that subscribe button and also don't be afraid to comment, like or share my videos. It's really going to help my channel grow. So thanks very much and I'll see you guys next time.